Hello everyone, welcome back to another explanatory video on Infinite Code AI. In the last video, we talked about how to set up and configure Infinite Code AI for your repositories, and we looked at an example pull request. In this video, we're going to talk about webhook integrations and also security alerts. So let's begin with uh, webhook integrations. So, for example, if you would like to be notified in a Discord channel uh, among your peers, your colleagues about pull requests being made on uh, on a project, you can do so here. Uh, if you click Add Integration, you can select Discord. Here you must uh, paste in the webhook URL. So what you must do now is you select the channel you would like to be to receive the notifications in. Go on to Settings, Integrations, uh, Webhooks. You can create one and then if you go here copy webhook url and then if you go back to uh, here you can paste it and fill in all the other fields and what it should look like is like this and you can also have the option to turn it on or turn it off so this is a good way of uh, having your your colleagues and your peers informed about anything that's being done, any pull requests, any updates to your code, everyone will be informed. Now for security alerts, basically these are alerts about deprecated or out outdated uh, packages in your repositories, thing specific or catering more to like security. And it, for example, it will tell you uh, on how severe it might be, could be medium or a low, low severity security issue. So if we click on view, for example, uh, it's kind of like a depend from Dependabot, it will tell you what must be done. Um, so this is very good, especially in the modern day when we have a bunch of dependent packages for our project. So Things get updated all the time. Security flaws are found all the time. They're changed all the time. So it's good to be updated. Make sure you don't jeopardize your project with any security issues. So this is why this is a very important page to follow. So that's integrations and alerts also explained. Now, once again, a link in the description for our Discord if you would like to come on and talk to us, ask us any other question. We're more than happy to help, as well as we also have the Discord link here as well. Uh, and that's about, that should be good. Happy coding, everybody.